Hi, I'm Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons, and on today's lesson we're going to talk about an original song called Sue's Blues. What I like about this song, Sue's Blues, it's an easy song to play, it's in the key of C, there's no sharp, there's no flats, and uh, the key of C <clears throat> is common to the pan, and it's on this side of the drum. What I like about it, what I want to do with this song is show you some tips about how to add a harmony note to the melody note, so that you can play two notes and sound sound better. You sound uh, like you have another player playing with you. So, on this song, the first major, the first full major, has the note A on it. It's right under the, the letter F, the F chord, and I know that I can use a note that is two steps down from A. So I go from A to G to F. That's how I know I can use that note to, to work. So the melody goes like this. So under each one of those notes, starting in the first full major, I'm going to add a note that is two notes lower than the melody note. And that works pretty well. I added an A, uh, to the A, I added an F. To the uh, B flat, I added, or to the B, I added a G, and to the A, I added a C, which is two notes down. It's C, B, A, and etc., etc. Now, on all notes, it doesn't work like that. But on those, it does. And if you want to learn to get around with, with double stops, this is a great way to do it. Uh, here's the melody again. And again, the melody starts three notes before the first full major, so there's a little bit of a pickup. There's three note pickup. Here's the melody. Repeats. Repeats again. I didn't do the last three notes because it's too fast. Okay, now we're going to get to uh, the major, I think, is letter uh, number 10. On this one, I'm going to add six notes down, or a sixth down. You have to count the notes you're on, and you count down six notes. That's the note I want. And the reason I like that note is because my ear likes it. So I'm going to start with that note, uh, uh, the A, then the G, then the E. Now, I'm not going to do anything to the A and the G, but to the high E, I'm going to add the low G. To. That's nice too, but I like the sound of the openness. You have one note very much higher than the other. I like the sound of that. Either is okay because they are in the C chord. C, E, and G are the three notes you could work with. And then you decide how do I want to stack them. Maybe this time I'm going to do this way C and E, but this time I want to do G and E. As long as you have the melody set, you're okay. Uh, so it would be going on now. Of those notes, I added the note that was six notes down or a sixth under it. So to the E, I added G. To the D, I added an F. To the high F, I added the A. So that's, uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but this song really lends itself to that. And, and again, you can go back to the other part, the part that goes the beginning. And then you have your thirds or three notes below. And the reason I didn't do the sixth on that is because I didn't like the sound of it. Didn't like it as well. It's, it's perfectly acceptable, but it's just personal taste. So, here's, I'm going to run this a little bit. I'll, I will do some of both. I'll do no harmony, and then I'll show you the harmony.
great to know what the chord has in it. When you see the C, you have these notes, C, E, or G. That way, if you know the melody, if the melody note is E, then you have to choose from E, or uh, C, and G. Those are the only two notes left. And you decide, well, which one do I want to do? Does this one sound better, or do I like this one? In some, a lot of cases, you can just do whichever one you want. But there's some uh, that don't sound good. For instance, um, uh, let's see. There's the melody note. Well, I put a, if I put a high G on it, it kind of sounds okay, but then you lose the melody. You're not sure what the melody is. So you have to be, it comes with time and practice, and start adding that second note to your melody. It, it uh, broadens your playing because you sound like you have two people playing now. You have two notes coming out instead of one. And, and it just makes you sound more professional. So I want to encourage you about that and just uh, start researching what, what chords are what, and uh, that, that gives you the formula to know what notes go with what chords. So good luck. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching, and I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and leave comments below so uh, we can make new videos based on those comments and give us ideas for new, for new videos. also want to encourage you to go for, to tropicalshores.net for your book needs. Uh, play along books or uh, arrangements for full steel drum bands. And I also want you to uh, go to panland.name.com. It's a social network for pan players, videos from all over the world, and uh, downloadable musical tracks. See you next time.